Hello friends, welcome to BMH Learning. In this video, we are going to discuss about DPPH assay. First, let's know what is DPPH. DPPH stands for 2,2-diaphenyl-1-picric hydrazyl. So, it's a chemical compound. DPPH is a dark colored crystalline powder which is composed of stable free radical molecules. Although there are many applications of this chemical, but most importantly, it is used to monitor chemical reactions that involve radicals, like in case of antioxidant assay. DPPH is a popular radical and a very efficient scavenger for other radicals. Principle The assay is used to measure the antioxidant activity of molecules which have the ability to transfer electrons. The compound in question is actually a chromophore, which is stable radical cation possessing purple color. The radical cation shows a maximum absorbance at 570 nanometer. So, antioxidant compounds having capacity to donate an electron to DPPH radical cation cause a decoloration of the solution when added in the solution having DPPH radical in it. The disappearance of color or simply change in color is estimated spectrophotometrically. So, what's happening here is that the antioxidant compounds which are there in the sample solution actually quenched the color of the DPPH radical cation and led to the decoloration of the solution which is basically proportional to the amount, that is the antioxidants. Now let's move to the experimental part. Preparation of DPPH solution. So, 7.89 mg of DPPH is weighed on a chemical balance. Then, we dissolve the mentioned amount of DPPH in 99.5% ethanol to get a constant volume by filling 100 ml of a measuring flask or a measuring cylinder. It's a well known fact that. The absorbance of a DPPH solution decreases with time until around 1 hour after preparation. So, we should keep the solution in dark for approximately 2 hours until the absorbance is stabilized. Once the 2 hour period is complete, in a test tube or a sampling tube, we add 200 microliter of analytical sample and also 800 microliter of 0.1 molar tris SEL buffer having pH set at 7.4. Into the same tube, 1 ml of DPPS solution is added. After this, all the contents are mixed. The absorbance is taken at 570 nanometer. Similarly, we set one more test tube with 1 ml DPPS solution and 800 microliter of 0.1 molar tris SEL. But instead of adding analytical sample, we add 200 microliter of ethanol into this tube. Apart from this, we set a blank tube which is prepared by mixing 1.2 ml of ethanol and 800 microliter of tris SEL buffer. You are required to have at least 5 to 6 different concentrations of analytical sample which can be prepared according to the need of the experiment. This was all. Thanks for watching.